Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my Keen Smart Vent review. Uh, today we're going to talk about the vents and what I think of them. So if you haven't seen part one, you might want to check that out. That's just an overview on how the vents work and how to hook them up. So let's get started. Okay, first thing on our list is the vent overview. Here's our vent, and I actually really like the vent. Um, I give it like a 10. I mean, these are very well-built, smart vents. There's a nice safety bar going down the middle, so if you accidentally step on this, it puts the pressure across here, keeps you from kind of falling in. Uh, if you put your foot right on the, the plastic pieces, yeah, you might break those. So avoid stepping on them. The range is actually really good with the Smart Things hub or with the Keen hub. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. A manual open and close. You have your reset button, pairing button, vent intake to detect pressure and temperature uh, safe for safety features. Um, I can demonstrate how loud they are. Alexa, open sunroom vent one, zero percent. Did you hear it? I heard it. Okay, so here is the uh, sensor. The sensors work pretty well. Uh, I don't think the range is that good, but I mean, it's Zigbee. Um, it's like Bluetooth technology, so no, they're not gonna have great range. As you've seen in the overview video, I put a piece of tape where the battery is, and I did that so the battery would not fall out when I take this off the wall. So they could improve on this, but this is not bad. This also works with uh, the Samsung SmartThings hub. You just have to use a, I think it's called SmartSense temperature and humidity sensor, okay? That's what they have to be labeled as, and then they will work with your Samsung SmartThings, um, stuff like that. Let me hold this in my hand here and see if I can heat this up and see if we can get this vent to close. Okay, there it goes. So just by holding that, I got the temperature up past 70 degrees, my vents closed. Worked great. Okay, so the next thing is the hub and the repeater. This is the hub. Oh, oh look, there's a the repeater. Basically, same box. Um, tricky, huh? Uh, so basically, the hub gets plugged into the Ethernet port, okay, and that connects to the internet. The repeater just sits any place in between um, the, the next set of vents. So you have hub, repeater, and then a sensor, okay? So obviously this sensor would connect to the, the repeater, and if the sensor was over here, it would connect to this hub. Basically that's all it does, helps you carry the signal. I have two because one would not cover the whole house. If you read their website, they tell you that this needs to point the front of this needs to point towards your vent okay so if you're having range issues that's what they tell you oh your vents back there turn the hub to face that way why should should that be like that i'm not sure my samsung uh smart things hub sits in the center of the house right on the side of me um, covers the whole house i have no range issues whatsoever they, the Samsung can talk to all these devices without a repeater. So I think this is a very poor design. There's something wrong with this. Uh, the, the antenna, um, whatever. If I was to give this a, a number, 1 to 10, I'd probably say a 4. And that's all because of the range. Okay, so let's go over the software. Um, there's a lot to talk about with the software. Uh, I give it a five. The reason for that is a uh, major issue is they have occupied and unoccupied. In unoccupied mode, there is no set temperature. The vent closes and it stays closed. I think there should be a set temperature for unoccupied so the room doesn't get ice cold or super hot. The other part about the software is that they control it. So if you have a schedule, um, something set up 70 degrees for that room, their server goes down, that's not going to maintain 70 degrees. You're depending on their server being up and running. They go out of business, 
you just bought all this stuff and it won't work now. Now I asked them a question and I asked them when the server goes down, what happens? Did, will the vents close and stay closed? Because that's what happened eight weeks ago at my house. They said, no, when the server has an outage or your internet goes offline, the vents will stay at their last state. Okay, so if they're open, they'll stay open. Unless instructed via the app to open or close at a chosen percent. Didn't work that way. Basically, when the server went offline or they had their issues, my, all my vents closed. I was so mad because now my house is getting cold, my furnace is trying to run, and I don't have the vents in some of the key rooms, like living room, kitchen, dining room, bathroom. I just want to maintain temperature in the bedrooms while we're sleeping. That was my key point. So they would not open. If they were closed, they would open for about 10, 20 seconds, and then it would shut right back down. That was it. It doesn't work the way they say it does. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about support. So the support for them is terrible. You can't call them. They say you can ask for a phone call and you can talk to them, so you know, get it fixed quicker. But then someone will respond saying, sorry, we don't do that. But another guy says he will. And you set up a, a day and time for them to call you. And then they reply back later that day and say, sorry, we were so swamped we couldn't call you. So where does that leave you? It leaves you with sending a message Monday morning at 8 o'clock and getting a message by Tuesday evening. And then if you try to reply, you know, then you're at Wednesday or Thursday for another reply. It's terrible. It, it really is bad. And then they reply back with help topics. Even though I told them things like, I'm in range, the vents will open and close via the app, but then they close back down again. I rebooted everything. My sensor checks in every four minutes like it's supposed to. And you give them all this information, and they still send you these help topics. Um, and then they say, well, we don't know what's going on. We'll have an engineer look into it. So this last problem went 10 days before they acknowledged that they had a server issue. So the customer support side, I would say a two. It's very poor. This topic, uh, would I recommend the vents? Yeah, I actually would. You don't need to use Keen's software to make these vents and these temperature sensors work. You can use Samsung SmartThings Hub. I think they work great. They've been maintaining a set temperature in my bedrooms. My daughter's room, her vent used to always be closed pretty much all the time because it was the first line from the furnace. So it gets very hot, so we close that vent. So this will open and close, maintain a set temperature, 70 during the day, 69 at night, and then the other rooms uh, stay open most of the time, unless it gets super hot in there, then they close down, and then that forces the, uh, the air to go downstairs where it's cooler, and it'll kind of switch during the summer. So would I recommend the vents? Heck yeah. Okay, would I recommend the temperature sensors? Now, a lot of people think that this only works with Keen because this is, you know, these were demonstrated to work with uh, Alexa there. And these, nobody talked about these. Yes, these actually work with Samsung SmartThings Hub. You have to go into the software on the internet and you have to give this a device handler. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to do some research. I can't help you with that part. But you go in and you label these as smart sense, temperature, and humidity sensor. Then they will work. They'll show up on your, your smart things as uh, temperature. So they do, they do work. So then you can use these with your Samsung smart things. Okay, what I recommend the Keen software. That's my next topic here. I'm sure you know the answer to that. Uh, definitely not. Nope. Don't run the software. Don't buy their bridges. I Honestly, I don't think the company's going to last. The way they're going, they've been out for a couple years, and I haven't seen any, anything new come from them. Uh, their software hasn't really changed. They haven't updated any of the um, hardware. I don't think they're doing anything. I really don't. I think it's a dying company. So, no, I don't recommend running their software. Okay, would I recommend running these with uh, Samsung SmartThings Hub? and the benefits of using Samsung SmartThings Hub. I would definitely do this all over again. I would buy the vents and the temp sensors. I like them because they're very small. And I would run them with the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Now, if you don't know a lot about Samsung SmartThings, this might not be for you. Maybe find a different 
company that makes some smart vents that has their own app and then you don't have to worry about it. But if you're kind of techie like me, you want to jump in, get these things working with Samsung and then they'll be paired up with Alexa. You can do so much. There is a guy, and I'll post a link, makes an app for Samsung Smart Things. It's a custom app. And he does the same thing that Keen does with the sensors and the vents. What his app can do is that you can set temperatures for the room so the vents will open and close. And then you can throw in a door sensor and a door window sensors and you can put them on the windows and you can say, hey, if the window is open, shut the vent. Don't waste you know, the, the heat or the AC, okay? So that's something Keen can't do. You can put motion sensors in the room. So when you walk in the room, it detects you and says, oh, hey, look, you're, you're in this room. Let's up the temperature to 70 degrees. And then here's your sensor, reads the temperature in the room. It's like unlimited possibilities. It's so cool. But the nice thing about it is that you can pay him a hundred bucks, tell him what you need to be done, and he can go in and program everything for you. And then everything is controlled on your phone. Uh, check that out. I'll put a link down below, and I definitely recommend running these with a Samsung SmartThings Hub. Okay, guys, that wraps up our video. Obviously, I do not recommend running it with Keen, but I do recommend running the vents and the, and the temperature sensor with Samsung SmartThings Hub. If you want to know who wrote that custom app that I talked about, I'll put the link down below. He even has a, a service that you can pay for, and he will help you set it all up. Uh, but you do have to know some basic knowledge of how to install device handlers, how to get into the Samsung SmartThings website, and do a couple of basic things. So you do have to know that. And that's about it. So if you have questions, hit me up down below. If you didn't see part one, part one was just basically an overview on how to pair them, how they work, how the app works. Um, just look up in the corner there, you'll see uh, part one of this video. Just Click on that and you can uh, watch that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you next time. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? I will tell you, but don't get pissy with me if it is wrong. I get my info from a human moron. It's 43 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun.